Uh, so let me create a PV case. Uh, PV, I'll, I'll just create a new file. So photovoltaics, component based, and let's make it a commercial system. Demo. So the first thing I want to show you is on the, the, the module page. Um, so for those of you PV modelers out there, as you know, uh, when you model a PV system using the component-based models, you um, choose a, model, a module on the module page. And the first thing you have to do is decide which of these models you want to use to, to uh, represent the module performance. Um, and in general, we, we have recommended that uh, if you can find your module in the Sandia library, you should use it. If it's not available in the Sandia library, then uh, you can look in the CEC library. Uh, and the CEC library has more up-to-date and extensive list of uh, modules than the Sandia one. Um, the Sandia um, uh, testing procedure is a little bit more involved than, than the CEC, so it takes, uh, so their list is a little, not as long. So any, in any case, um, um, what I want to demonstrate here is, is uh, an example where maybe I want to model this sharp module. Um, and I just chose this module arbitrarily. I have nothing. Sharp isn't paying me to uh, advertise our modules or anything. Um, so we've got this sharp NUQ245 module, for example. Um, so. Let's see if that module is in the Sandia database. So I'll type sharp. That lists all the sharp modules. And Q, what is it? Q245W2, I don't see here. OK, so it's not in the Sandia database. Let me try CEC. I'll type sharp here. And Scroll through all the sharp modules. Okay, here's a the Q series, um, and here we've got Q245 um, is here. Um, so I could use this um, this module uh, in the CEC database, and so I just click the uh, module name here, and Sam populates the module parameters here, and I'm ready to go. Now, what if this module were not in the list, um, then I could use the new this new CEC performance model with user enter specifications. And what this does is it runs the CEC module performance model, but instead of pulling uh, these parameters from the CEC database, it allows you to enter them by hand. So you can read the um, specifications from the spec sheet and type them in here. Um, so let me just do that uh, for this module. Um, so that's a sharp uh, NU U245W2. And it's a monocrystalline module. Uh, the module dimensions are on the spec sheet. I had to multiply length and width to get 1.63 square meters. NOCT from the spec sheet is 47.5. And then VMP is uh, 30.2 volts. IMP, or IPM as they like to say, is 8.12 uh, amps. VOC, 37.4 volts. ISC is 8.78 amps. Now, temperature coefficient we need to be a little careful with. The temperature coefficients on the spec sheet, it turns out, are given in percent per degree Celsius. Sam wants the temperature coefficient of VOC in volts per degree Celsius. So I have to take the percent from the spec sheet, divide it by 100, and then multiply that by um, VOC. Um, so I did that ahead of time, and I get 0.1313. And then similarly, ISC is given in percent per degree Celsius. Sam wants it in amps per degree Celsius. So I have to multiply the percentage by um, ISC, and I get 
five, and then the temperature coefficient of maximum power. Sam wants it in percent, which is the same as you've got on the spec sheet, so I can just enter it directly, minus 0 0.485. Number of cells in series, that's 60. Um, and then you can put in a mounting configuration. I'll just use the default values. So we're ready to go. Before you can run the model, you need to click uh, Calculate and Plot. And so you get a picture of, this, of the um, IV curve, which you can use to ch check your inputs. Now, if you make a mistake somewhere in your inputs, for example, put in a, the wrong open circuit voltage and click Calculate and Plot, you get this error message. So if you get an error message like, like this, Go back and check your inputs and make sure you entered them correctly. And remember the temperature coefficient units. That's a gotcha for this one. Make sure that you're uh, putting in the correct units. So then once you click, once you've uh, generated your power curve, then you can run the model um, and you're ready to go. Okay, so that's the uh, the new module modeling option in SAM. Um, I know this is uh, an often requested feature, so hopefully um, uh, we're making folks happy with that. <laughs>